Hop out Rich Bell, who had a podium finish in the last Midwest Big Ten Series event here at Lincoln Speedway. Can Steve Lance Jr. out of Cuba do it? How about our top two points? Greg Kimmons and Ryan Little, the points leader. Can either one of them get it done? Well, we're going to have 25 laps to figure that out. The high side, Hustler Jason Fager. Normally in the 38J, now in the 7 tonight, Jake Little. Nice and slow coming off the four. There at the still track goes on. Baker picks up the pace. Green flags out. Here we go. Rich Bell elbows his way up the second side by side. Look out. Roger Brickler gets crossed up. Deep in the field. Side by side battle for a second. Rich Bell on the inside. He's looking for on Jake Little. Craig Kimmins needs a great run. Ryan Little just needs to keep pace. Racetrack is like three wide for third over a turn number three. The war machine of Dustin Anchor pulls in. We stay green. Three wide still for third. Kimmins on the bottom. Jake Little by eating the sandwich. Here comes Steve Lance Jr. Kimmins up to third battle for the lead. Jason Fager has company on the bottom. It's the 21B of Rich Bell side by side up front. At the line, I think Bell had him. It was close. Side by side up front. Rich Bell powers by the high. Side hustler. Beggar kind of moves up to the middle groove. Let's see if he can make it work. Bell good on the bottom. Fresh Bell on a chef field. Open the door. Once the door was open, he went through it. Bell, Beggar. Given Steve Lewis Jr. and Bob Gardner now in your top five. Here comes Brian Dimley into the mix. Dimley started a ways back. Brian Dimley up to the top five. He started 12th. Rich Bell opening it up on Beggar. Problems for the 33 machine. Fluid coming up to the back. And the round goes around to him on his wall. That'll bring the caution out. Rich Bell, Jason Fager, Greg Kimmins, Steve Lance Jr., Bob Gardner, your top five off of four. They're back on the hammer, we're back to green. Bob Gardner looks to the inside of Steve Lance Jr., Lance Jr. to the outside of Kimmins. Guys are looking around on this quarter mile racetrack that is slick after a lot of open wheel action. Steve Lance Jr. by Greg Kimmins on the outside. He's up to third. Rich Bell out front looking good. Jason Beggar, Steve Lance Jr., Greg Kimmins, and Bob Gardner, your top five. Ryan Dively, Ryan Little, Tommy Shepard, Jake Little, Jason Wagner, Don Hammer, your top ten. Side by side, here goes Bob Gardner. Gardner by Kimmins for fourth. Great race out in deeper in the field. Good race shaping up for third. Bob Gardner on the bottom. Steve Lance Jr. He's leaving the door open. Ryan Dimley also on the move. Keep an eye on the 11D to the outside of Greg Kimmins. Spot over on the top of turn number three. Gardner and Greg Kim is your top five. That is how they will lead them back to the green flag. Off of turn number four. RPS pick up, green flags back in the air. Here we go. Steve Lance Jr. again ventures up to that middle groove. He's 
looking to the outside of the high side hustler. Banger tries to move up a little bit. Here comes Bob Gardner to the inside of Steve Lance Jr. He's up to third. The Germantown Hills Illinois driver up to third and looking for more. Cautious and oh, Hamlin spins and clobbers the wall. Andrew Barnes. Andrew Barnes, and it looks like Don Hammer. It is the 45 of Don Hammer pulling away there in the bottom of turn number three. It's a slow look for the line. They pick it up there at the tire. Green flags back out. Here we go. Now, good battle. Dively looks to the inside of Greg Kimmons. That's a battle for the top five. Rich Bell, Jason Beggar, Steve Lance Jr. Caution flies again. Randy Manos loops it, and Justin Springer ends up on the nose of the rude one. So we thank Chuck for all his hard work all season long here at Lincoln Speedway as our track videographer. Bob Gardner, Greg Kimmage, your top five. They pick up the pace, green flags back out. Here we go. Steve Lance Jr. up to the middle groove where he flourished on the last restart, could not make it go. Bob Gardner looks to the inside, shows him the nose. Two laps to go for the 21 B of Rich Bell. Yeah, oh, the back stretch off the of floor. The next to last time, white flags in the air for the 21 B of Rich Bell. And a three off the of floor for the final time. Your final. Winner of the Midwest Big Series in 2014, Rich Bell, Jason Baker, Steve Lashinger, Bob Gardner, and Greg Kimminger, top five. I do not believe a fifth place finish will be good enough. Here comes your late model feature winner, Rich Bell. And as he comes off of four, give him a hand. He should be your 2014 Midwest Big Ten Series champion, 38 L. Galva Iron and Metal, LaSalle Speedway, Bell's Transmissions, Rocket Chassis. He's got the earpieces out, the helmets off, the safety equipment's off. Wheels off, he's getting ready to climb out. Getting his head and neck restraint off. He's climbing out, let him hear you. The winner of the final Midwest Big Ten Series late model feature of 2014 here at Lincoln Speedway, Rich Bell. Rich, I'll tell you what, you were really good here the last time out. You and uh, Scott Schmidt put on a heck of a show, but I'll tell you what, you showed that one was uh, that one was no fluke. That was a heck of a run. You got by a pretty strong Fager car on the bottom. Thanks, man. Yeah, I don't know why, but I always like running this place. and. Uh, Always seem to do good, so uh, yeah, this is this is my biggest win I've ever got so far, so pretty jacked up. Just wish the season wasn't over yet, don't you? Yeah, right, right. That's a good way to end it, though. Well, I'll tell you what, we hope to see you back here in 2015, and I'll tell you what, season's not quite over yet. You gonna run Peoria tomorrow night? Uh, maybe now. I might now. <laughs> hey, better to go for two in a row now, right? Right, right. There you have it, UMP Late Model Feature Winner Midwest Big Ten Series Finale, the 21B out of Sheffield, Rich Bell.